Hey guys, welcome to ITS. Today we're going to be learning how to shim a padlock. And there are two types of padlocks we're going to go over today. One is a single lock shackle and one is a double lock shackle. And if you can quickly note the difference here, um, most combination locks are typically single lock shackles. So there is one detent here that actually locks into place on the shackle. And on uh, key type padlocks, typically there are two places where the shackle locks in. So you can see the detent here and also on the opposite side. So the way you handle this is a little bit differently for each one. You're going to need two shims for a double lock shackle and a single shim for a single lock shackle. So let's go over the single lock shackle real quick. And first of all, we need to make a shim. So typically what I like to do is cut a Coke can. Uh, you can trim off the top and the bottom of a Coke can and you're left with some uh, pieces of aluminum here that you can fold very easily into a shim. Uh, the first step is cutting a little M shape in a small piece of aluminum. And uh, I like to round the mid part of the M and I feel like it helps actually work its way into the, the lock-in mechanism on the shackle a little bit easier. Um, I used to cut them straight rather than round these and uh, I've, I've kind of transitioned to this method. So after you've cut your shape, you're going to fold down the top and then fold up the sides and you're left with something that looks like this. So what you want to do is on your single lock shackle you want to note the side first where it locks from that's important. So if you'll note on this one it locks on your left side as you're looking at this video. So that's the side we're going to be working with here. And I like to start somewhere in this area right here towards the front. And as I'm working the shim into the front here, start to twist it and push up and down on the shackle. And what you're doing is kind of allowing the shackle to take the shim around with it. So as this gets pushed down, it's getting twisted and working its way into that locking mechanism. And it pops right open. So you can see the shim, you can see how it's damaged a little bit on that one side, and that's because as it was moving around, it was wedging itself into that locking mechanism. So that's the single lock shackle. Let's move on to a double lock shackle, just like this. And this is going to be a little more difficult, but shouldn't be too bad. We've got two shims left, hopefully that's all we'll need for this. Go ahead and finish making these. Now again, um, if, when you actually get to this step of creating the shim, you can take a pen or something and actually help round this thing a little bit. Uh, it's kind of important to note if you get a little crazy on this and it starts getting creases in, it can snap a little bit easier. So it's always good to use something to, to help round this. You can even use you know, the shackle right here just to kind of twist that into shape. So let's make the second one here. down, flip these up, and crease this. Alright, so here's our double lock. Now you'll note with this, they're on the interior, the two locking points here. So we're going to come from the exterior. Actually, these are a little bit long on the side here to turn, so I'm going to trim these just a little. Same here with this one, just to be sure. Okay, so here we go. Bring on the outside first, and turn inboard. And the outside on this one. can kind of push down on this, it might help you turn. Okay. 
can see that started to split on this side. See, it's splitting and it's taking that shim with it on the inside, and that's what we don't want. So, we're going to go ahead and get these out while we still can. And we'll start again here in a second with some new shims. So, we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to keep going here. We've got two new shims, and we're going to keep at this because practice makes perfect. So, move this one here. Twist that to the inside. Come around with this other one. Again, we're starting on the outside and working in. So, you've got to find that little bit of space. twist there we go and that is how you shim a double lock so you're going to need two shims on the double just like we showed and then a single shim on the single so again it's going to take some practice. Um, there's no real easy way to shim a lock. You just have to keep practicing with it. Um, get yourself a bunch of Coke cans, get a bunch of blanks, <laughs> cut a ton of shims, and just practice. Um, again, nothing illegal advocated in these videos. Just simply trying to show the illusion of security and how easy it is to get into simple padlocks with nothing more than an aluminum piece of Coke can. This has been an ITS Tactical Video. Thanks for watching.